Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm out here at the range thanks to Morphe's today with a BM-59. Not just any BM-59, but a Select Fire BM-59. And the reason is, I'm really curious to actually try shooting one of these. I've shot an M14, and it is, in fact, as impossible to really control as, as the, the common mythology would lead you to believe. Beretta took essentially the M1 Garand and they made it select fire and box magazine fed and they did it a lot faster than the US put together the M14 and I'm curious if their rather large uh, compensator out here actually does a, a realistic job of keeping the gun controllable. Now this experiment is going to be a little bit uh, wonky because this particular gun doesn't have a fixed stock. It has the folding stock, which is not exactly as pleasant for shooting as a fixed stock. Also, before we go any farther, very important if you are shooting one of these, that is no good and the stock will collapse on you when you shoot it. You need to make sure that this is snapped all the way down or else you'll have a very unpleasant time. So, uh, with that in mind, let's do a little bit of shooting. Start this in semi-auto. All right, we ready for this? The switch. Okay. That is better than an M14, but not a lot better than an M14. That's still jumping around quite a lot, despite having this very, well, I don't know about sophisticated, but rather complicated looking break on it compared to what the M14 had. I'm gonna load up this magazine again, try that one more time, and then we'll do a little bit of shooting off the bipod to see if that makes it a little more usable. All right, let's try this again. I'm a little bit warmed up now. Maybe I can handle it a little bit better. Here we go. All right. Okay, that's a little better. Um, it just took me a little bit of practice to warm up to it. It's better than an M14. It's definitely better. Um, still, not something that you're really going to be effective with, I suspect, from the shoulder in full auto. But maybe that's why we've got a bipod. Let's uh, load up one more mag and try it from the bipod. Yes. This is the sort of situation where the Select Fire 308 battle rifle kind of makes sense. You, well, it's kind of like the FG42. You generally intended to run it semi-auto from the shoulder almost all the time, but if you need to push it into the role of an emergency light machine gun, you can do that with a bipod to actually hold it steady. downside, of course, is 20 round mags don't last all that long, and the barrel is not particularly heavy in profile, so it's going to overheat relatively quickly. This is really sort of a stand-in light machine gun only, not something that you really want to have to depend on. But folding stock here, got paratroopers, perhaps you don't have support weapons like an MG4259, the Italian version of the, the MG42 and 308. Well. This is, this is a backup of sorts. I have one magazine left for this, and you guys probably know what that means. We can't leave it loaded. We want to get it done as rapidly as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. A big thanks to Morphe's for giving me the chance to uh, try out the BM-59, compare it to the M14, see what it's really like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.
Well, we'll just leave it there.